Hi, I'm Dennis, and welcome to Vive Talk. Today, we're talking about virtual production and its use in the making of Hollywood movies. The first Star Wars live action series, The Mandalorian, created by Disney, was launched in 2019 to promote the video streaming platform Disney Plus. The story of Boba Fett's ethnic Mandalorian background further expands upon the universe of Star Wars and has already won the hearts of many existing fans and new audiences. The second season of The Mandalorian aired in late 2020, despite obvious restrictions to most film production during the pandemic. Today, Hollywood uses VR technology to accelerate the movie making process, combining VR with the Unreal 3D games engine from Epic Games into the film production workflow. During the pandemic, virtual production has become pivotal for the film and television industries. Simply put, virtual production shifts the majority of a film's post-production to pre-production and production phases, resulting in a much shorter overall production schedule and a much more efficient workflow. Traditionally, Hollywood film production takes place on location or in a studio. Green screen shooting is used for sci-fi scenes and animation special effects are added in post-production. Virtual production flips this completely on its head and takes advantage of the maturity of the Unreal Games Engine and VR technology. Using a VR headset as the viewer to see a scene in 3D and allowing the entire production crew to see a virtual film set even before actual filming and construction ever begins. During actual filming, the crew will project real-time environment images onto a massive LED wall, replacing the traditional green screen. This allows a crew to easily achieve realistic lighting in real time and more easily integrate the actors into the virtual picture. This ultimately means that virtual production makes the entire film production process much more streamlined. Vive's tracker was designed for greater positioning in VR and bringing more accessories into VR games. However, when a tracker is attached to a camera, the camera can then be set up to be directly connected to the 3D engine and create a virtual camera. Integrating the physical camera into the virtual set means that the physical subject and the 3D virtual environment can then be both more precisely and easily composited together in real time. The iconic Industrial Light & Magic studio has greatly influenced the film industry since its creation decades ago. From Rogue One, a Star Wars story, to The Mandalorian on Disney Plus today, the stagecraft method can fully virtualize everything from set and prop design, studio planning, pre-viz, and actual filming. Disney is not the only ones now using this virtual production method. The HBO series Westworld has also adopted virtual production. According to reports, Jonathan Nolan, the co-producer of Westworld, decided to switch to virtual production to rebuild the first season set directly into the 3D engine, avoiding the resource-intensive process of flying the entire film crew to Spain again and rebuilding the entire set from scratch. Virtual production is cost-effective and resource-efficient. While a crisis like the pandemic is hard for all of us, it's also accelerated the need for us to adapt and use new processes and technologies. The Vive Tracker and virtual production were not created for the pandemic, but can now both be used to mitigate its effects. And now it looks like this technology and this new virtual production method are both here to stay. Oh,